This is the story of Brooke Rudisill, a Lynn student who won a scholarship to come to the Dominican Republic as a reporter correspondent. Her job? To make a documentary on Lynn students who are here doing community service in memory of the Lynn students and faculty who died in the Haiti earthquake five years ago. We spoke to her in the newly constructed Snyder Sanctuary. She had just completed the final cut of the documentary and she confessed she had become a part of the documentary herself. There have been a lot of times in my life where I have um, gone out and helped people in the community, but to go build latrines for families who have never even really seen like what the bathrooms are, or the yeah, what the bathrooms are like here or anywhere. They literally just had outhouses, I guess you would say, but that's all they ever have known. That's all they ever known. And to go there and build this entire new structure for them was incredible. The most memorable experience I've had would be meeting a young girl named Jennifer. And she had, she was 15 years old. I'm not sure when her birthday was, so she still, she could still be 15, but she's a 15 year old girl who has lived in Konani, which is the orphanage, for as, ever since she was a little kid. She doesn't even remember having a family or, or what a family is like. With her telling me how much she wanted a family and that that was all that would make her happy in this world is to have people love her. And it broke my heart because I said to her, like, I'm also adopted. I completely understand the aspect of family and I get that like that's something that you 110% want and I wish that I could literally just like pick you up and just bring you with me and that's all I wanted to do so I ended up giving her a giving key. Was there any point where you missed home where you really wanted to sort of run away? The only type of feeling that I had when I was there was that I just wanted to stay what would you tell a student thinking about applying for this trip? I'd say when somebody is choosing whether or not they want to apply for it and they have a little bit of doubt in their mind that oh, I don't think I'm prepared enough or I don't think I'm ready to go out and travel or be a journalist on the streets, I would 110% say go with your gut. I ended up picking the key moments that I found to be defining moments in my life that had changed me in some sort of way. In 2010, Lynn University experienced a real tragedy when the community lost two faculty members and four students to the earthquake in Haiti. I'd like to thank Brooke Rudisil for sitting down today and sharing her experience of the Dominican Republic. I'm Kate Britton, reporting for the iPulse.